What do you think is going to happen after this? Me? Yeah. I don't, the world's gonna continue to be the way it was. It's so good. I have not been the most organized person in my life thus far. They're not like the most flattering on the butt. I basically eat eggs like four, sometimes five days a week. I have been eating them a certain way. So I'm gonna show you guys three eggs, a little bit of heavy whipping cream, just a little bit, butter for the pan. I feel like the key to eggs is to not have the temperature up too high while you're cooking them. Mexican cheese. I like to do a lot of cheese. This is also the secret to perfect eggs. I so at this point, we are ready for the cheese. And these are just about done. <sighs> Spicy guacamole. It's so good. And that is how you make the best, most perfect eggs ever. And definitely try that spicy guac, guys, with the eggs if you have not. It's amazing. We are cleaning out my car. I just wanna put this out there. I have not been the most organized person in my life thus far. I do not claim that as part of my identity right now because I am not a disorganized person, but I have been disorganized in the past. So what I do is when I have the time, I just try to get this stuff together and so it doesn't build up and it's easier for me to stay organized. So we're gonna clean out my car. Okay, so I'm literally just about to record some stitches for TikTok and I figured I would add this into the vlog because truly content is everything when it comes to a brand, a business, like a product, it doesn't matter what it is, but for people to get to know you and to like feel like they want something from you or you can help them with something if you can entertain them inform them no matter what it is honestly i feel good when i'm connecting with people even if it's online so not like making it too complex but like there were some things and tiktok kind of scares me it always scares me um but it also feels like weirdly the most okay so youtube feels the most free for me i will say i think it's youtube I'm tied between my fitness page and TikTok and then Instagram as a whole. Not bad. This blue is actually very similar to my brand and my business color. My color is like a little bit more of a purple blue, but we got the new waist trainer on for this vid. And it's so comfy, honestly, very, very comfy. I'll show you guys what I end up creating. I finally felt confident in the swimsuit when I stopped working out like a man. No hate to Barry's boot camp. I used to love it, obviously. Okay, I have to share my story on this because I guess, first of all, I've been lifting for almost seven years now. I've seen a crazy transformation when it comes to my body because of weights. But, but there was a time back in 2020. We were looking for these glasses all over the place. Oh no, my camera's zooming in. And Mufi just found these on the ground in CVS. What do you think about that, Mufi? It's meant to be. We have like 30 minutes and we're 
cutting it real close. It's darker out. It's getting darker. Guys, look, look, look. Hold on. Yeah, man. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so actually, like, what do you think is going to happen after this? Me? Yeah. I don't, the world's gonna continue to be the way it was. Eight minutes, guys. I wonder if, like, the camera can pick up on this, but I can't see. Whoa. Very eerie. Lash is looking long. Oh, I have zero minutes. My leg days have been so good that I'm like, I need to film what I do for my hip thrusts. So we got the one our active set. This is the behind the scenes of me filming this workout video right now. I literally have my light. <laughs> this water bottle is my stand right now. And all I can say is this color is, oh okay, this light is not on me. This color is literally everything. I am obsessed. The only thing I'll say about these leggings is they're not like the most flattering on the butt. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but the, feel, like, the material doesn't like, let everything like move like super flexibly. flexibly. So I'm going to like film maybe a little short form right now because I've been doing this every day and like my glutes have been on fire. So yeah, this is the BTS. <laughs> okay, we're taking it off. Yep, you got it, you got it. We have a lot of waist trainers here. I have continued to get samples the last few weeks that I've not been updating and a couple of things the first thing i wanted to say is i am like completely self-funding this project nobody's helping me i have thought about having someone come in and help but i want to see and i honestly think that i will be totally good doing this on my own but i did want to put that out there that i am like this is completely on me all the money that's going into this is my own money so it's been it's been fun it's been a little stressful at times but for the most part i am very happy to continue to do this by myself so i've kind of switched up the design of this waist trainer and i got the idea because i was having my sister rose test out um, one of my waist trainers for a couple weeks and she felt that there were certain outfits that she could still see the um, the rows in the front. So I decided to test out 
a zipper. So this is not even the company I'm working with. So it's taken me more time now that I've like changed the design and everything, but I personally feel like it will be totally worth it in the end. So definitely a switch up last minute. I'm still hoping to have this pre-sale in just like hopefully two weeks is the goal. It's been a lot of waiting and a lot of patience, but I'm at the point where I've spent so long on this that I am not like finishing until I am so confident in what I'm dropping and I just like want to be in it all day that is like the biggest test for me so I'm currently waiting on these last samples which is really exciting but my girl in Colombia did tell me that recently I guess they lowered the value of the currency in Colombia so she's saying that my prices are going to be higher per unit because of this price change. So I'm a little bit, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm hoping that we could maybe negotiate a little bit more, but if their price is raised, then my price is raised. So I'm kind of like, we'll see what the end result's gonna be. I'm hoping that it won't be a big difference. But yeah, so just like little things like that have been kind of changing and switching up, but I guess that's just the process of it all. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I've been up to in this vlog. I am very excited, been working really hard on getting this all done. I am going to announce my name, I think, in my next vlog and show you guys just the whole brand and what I've come up with. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'm very excited to show you guys what I've been up to with the biz. Uh, the she corner it has, okay. but uh, it has three different layers. Okay. One of uh, litra. What I would like is something without a pattern on it. Just something simple and plain. Yeah, that looks really good. I love it. Short torso, basically. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. Perfect. Um, Olivia uh, was saying that um, actually she wants to more more information about the, um, the the market that you want to target. Las ideas van llegando, pues a medida que ella 